Say, man, hey, man, this is some news that you can use. I normally don't brag about this type of stuff, but this is the kind of person I am, so I want you to check it out. This is a, uh, this is a single mother. This is a single mother, and it's my next door neighbor. This is my next door neighbor's yard. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and get it, man. Y'all should do the same. Be good to somebody. Yo, 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 it's your boy Dragons of Thunder, and I'm back live with another video. Live and direct from outside of the, the Thunder Castle. I got some news that you can use. My next door neighbor is a single mother. So guess what I did? I cut her yard. Um, but anyway, um, my yard looks like crap. And uh, I just cut hers. It's nothing but weeds over there, but it's all good. This is the Hart 40 inch, I mean 40 volt brushless single point height adjustment. Uh, and all that other fancy whistles and bells. Uh, Hart line more, more, it's the 20 inch. I've only ever used the 40 volt. They do have a, they do have a 20 volt and the 20 volt is smaller, way smaller. And uh, it can get into a lot, a lot of tight, tighter spots. My boy E Ray's out here with me, free roaming. I had him out the whole time I was cutting the yard, and so he's chilling. I'm chilling, and I'm doing this review. So let's check this out. I did two yards. I did my yard and her yard, only the front, not the back. I got two bars left at a uh, four. So bang, bang. That's all the way charged. That backup is a 2.5. On my blower, on my blower up in the garage. And then I got the 40 volt edger also. I'll do reviews on those later. This is a two year review. So the two year review, I want to give y'all nothing but the truth and the truth straight way. Shout out my boy, Pastor Dahl, Dow over at uh, Truth. I don't even know his ministries no more. I don't, I don't watch him. Cause I don't believe everything he teach, but he do teach a lot of stuff that I agree with about the five zero one C three church, the incorporated church, things like that, fake Christians. But nonetheless, let's talk about this line more. I ain't trying to get nobody riled up in pennies in a bunch, but, um, this 40 volt more is great. My, this is the second season I've had it. Um, let's get these up off of here. That's how you do that's how you do stuff that's built tough. You don't buy the cheap stuff, you buy the good stuff. So this is a heart 40 volt push start mower. You hear that baby roar? You see those lights up front? Let's do that again. Alright, so headlights are on. Headlights are on. So if you want to come out at one in the morning, two in the morning, three in the morning, you can come out and cut your yard and can't none of your neighbors say nothing about it. You know why? Cause you got headlights, man. This is a little race car. I love this mower. Like I told y'all, I have used the Ryobi just like this. Matter of fact, TTI makes this. Um, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Rigid, Hart, and Ryobi. So. TTI make all that stuff, man. But Milwaukee was my number one brand. And then I said I found Hart at Walmart. And I said, you know what? Let me sell out my let me sell all of my Milwaukee. And I sold all of it. And I got about seven grand out of all my Milwaukee tools. And I bought every single power tool of Hearts. And damn near half of the uh line and garden. So you do the math. And I pocketed like three racks when I did that. Milwaukee's overpriced. Honestly, I sold my Milwaukee, but this thing is quiet. I sold my Milwaukee because I ain't doing too much of nothing no more. But uh, this thing is great, man. It's built to last. I Honestly, if you've seen my backyard, you know this is built to last. Every single root, every single tree, every single rock, I run it over in my backyard. I'm not lying. I'm not shitting you. And I do it on purpose just because I want to see if this stuff holds up to what it says. The bag is the truth. 
um, miter saw, horse saws, work table, work bench. Um, I got the the big four um, fast charger. Anything you can think of, I damn near got it. I got four of those small little fins over there. I got, uh, man, I got a bunch. The blower, the 40 volt weed whacker, everything, man. I'm telling you, I'm not lying, I'm not exaggerating. The new brushless stuff, the circular saw and all that. I got the old circular saw, six and a half. But right now, we're talking about this lawnmower. Like I told you, this is the second season of this lawnmower. Ain't that right, E Ray? E Ray, is this the second season of this lawnmower? Come, buddy. Bob your head, man. Please. Please, bob your head. No. Why you don't want to bob your head, boy? Anyway, he's not going to bob his head right now. So, I'm going to finish talking about, about this lawnmower. I haven't changed the blade yet. I haven't oiled anything. I haven't tightened anything. This sucker is a bad mama jamma. And I did all that on purpose. So, you got the settings on the side where you can raise it up and lower it. In the summer, I like to cut my grass high. Fall and um, fall and winter, I'll cut it all the way to one. Spring, I'll cut it like in the middle. So, summertime, you want to keep your grass high as possible so it won't die off. I just taught you something. I just got you some news that you can use. Now, um, what I was about to say. Uh, anyway, I, I was cutting the, um, the neighbor's yard, single mother, helping her out. And... Uh, Man, there was nothing but weeds and rough, like desert, woodland, uh, ter ter uh, terrain, or dirt, whatever the hell. But man, this bad boy caught, uh, cut off on me for the first time ever. It cut off because the grass was like this high. And uh, it was like a mound, it was an uh, ant mound under, under it. First time it ever cut off on me. And uh, my son said it cut off on him in the rain which of course is man 16 year old kids are dumb these days i told that boy i said boy go out there and cut that grass man and uh get it done get her done fast um took a nap i ate me something took a nap he said all right daddy i'll cut it when the sun go down this boy goes outside and start cutting the goddamn grass all in the rain he comes back in drenched wet hey I can't cut the grass. And I'm like, why? He's like, the lawnmower won't stay started. It keep cutting off, daddy. And I'm like, you know what, boy? Back in my days, you couldn't cut no damn lawn in the grass. The lawn in the grass. You can't cut no lawn in the rain. But if you cut the front yard in the rain, it works because I did it. But the backyard, heavens no. So let's take a look on the inside of this joint. I'm about to flip him over. Uh, prior to use, you have to lock the handles, man. You got to extend them and lock them. So, that's a flip over on yonder. Let's check this bad boy out. This might be my screen saver right here, right here. Yes, sir, Bob. Now, let's look at this blade. Uh, yeah. You can tell I've been running over rocks. Yes, you can, especially this one. But, still ain't too bad. I keep this blade... Uh, probably until next uh, season. So when the new season hits, I'm gonna come get me a wrench here, Bob. I should have took the battery out. Please, I apologize. With all seriousness, I'm not joking no more. I should have took that battery out before I touched that blade. And I don't want y'all to make the same mistake. I am a veteran in the game. I know what I'm doing. You don't. That's why you're on my channel watching. So I'm joking, man. Don't take that serious. But never touch these blades ever, and it's a battery inside, and you got to tilt it over like this. You don't know what could happen. Anyway, man, I'm going to leave the blade on one more season. Uh, no, hell no. I'm going to leave the blade on uh, until spring. Replace the blade, oil everything down. Every screw that you see will be tightened down. You have to maintain your stuff. A lot of people, man, they throw their lawnmower they throw their lawnmower in the shed or the garage all, all uh, winter, come back later on, try to start it, it ain't gonna start. You got a carburetor, oil, gas sitting in it, all kind of stuff. Me, I got a power lawnmower, man. I got a battery in it. Big ass battery right there, right there. So, when you uh, 
get one of these you don't got to do all that crap like the old school ones but i do advise you to maintain the bolts and nuts and uh oil that bad boy up but anyway man this is a heart 40 volt brushless it's not the push mower it's the 20 inch and uh this thing is a bad mammer jammer so let's check out these uh headlights one more time matter of fact you don't even got to start it you just pull the lever down headlights come on i got a push start just like my car Ugh. see that yep so what i'm about to do is i'm about to blow this and wash it down before i put it in my garage y'all stay safe to hell with covid tired of it i know y'all tired of it and uh just be safe man thrash like pound and subscribe it's your boy dragons of thunder and i am audi 5000 guanguala <laughs> i'm next door man cutting the neighbor's yard and the orange that he is is not picking up on camera it's crazy he got sun all day he's super bright but the camera ain't picking it up